Well, hello everyone. Welcome to day three of the Big Mac challenge. So I am busy calculating some fiber here. Um, so today actually should not be day three. Today should be day four. I had to skip yesterday. I did not skip food yesterday. I was good yesterday, but I could not have worked out this morning to save my life. So the side deadlifts apparently are um, amazing for muscles that I didn't know I have. And my sides and my lower back, the muscles, not like I wasn't, didn't have a strain like my back was pulled or anything like that. It was purely muscles. I was so sore. <laughs> like, wow. I think that the yoga helped to stretch out a bit, but it certainly didn't pull any lactic acid out of my muscles because they were super, super sore. I needed a little bit more recovery time before we did some more um, exercising. So today is day three. Um, so I am making a simple lentil soup and this is not from, this is from the other cookbook that I have. What is it called? Um, the one is the well-fed microbiome and I think the, this one is called the microbiome diet. So anyways, I'll just keep putting the links to the books in, that are on Amazon if you guys want to take a look at them. They're in the uh, Kindle Unlimited if you guys have that. Um, so I am going to make what's called a simple lentil soup. And it is, it really is pretty simple. So basically you've got, you're supposed to saute some onions, celery, and carrots in um, some olive oil, and then mix in some garlic. Then after that's done its little thing for a little bit, you wanna add some lentils, some veggie broth, a can of diced tomatoes drained, and then um, the spices that they want you to use are half a teaspoon of ground cumin and half a teaspoon of ground coriander. So when all that has been cooking, you're supposed to use r real, lentils obviously and once that has been cooking for a while um like 25 minutes you're then supposed to add the um some swiss chard which i don't have i'm going to go into the garage and see if i have any um i know i don't have any kale either <laughs> my mom is calling my husband mom is calling. yeah my mom is calling you um call okay i call you later okay here you go honey Hello? oh you answered the phone I was trying to tell my mom, he'll call anything? you back. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I am um, was using his phone to tell you guys what was in my recipe because I can't use my phone when I'm talking to you. It doesn't work very well. Anyways, so um, then you're supposed to add switch chart. I'm going to look in the garage and see if I have some spinach. And if so, I'm going to chop a little bit of spinach up and put it in the soup at the end. Just mix it in. I'm not going to let it cook because by the time I eat my soup later, it'll definitely be more wilty and stuff anyways. So rather than chopping up an onion and some celery and some carrots, I'm gonna be lazy, but I bought this for the purpose of being lazy. So it's not like I'm just being lazy and using something that I have that I should use for something else. But I bought this chopped veggie mix at Trader Joe's and it has broccoli, carrots, green cabbage, red carriage, jicama, green bell pepper, radish, and celery. And this sounds like total soup stock veggies to me. So I'm going to put this in with a couple cups of veggie broth. Um, and get that and some garlic and I'm gonna put the garlic in right away um, and get that boiling for a little bit so that this actually gets um, mm, I mean I want the carrots to get cooked you know I don't want them to be crunchy 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 um, so anyway so I'm gonna get that going once that's going I'm going to put in I have fire roasted uh, no salt added diced tomatoes I'm super excited I'm going to put that in there and I'm actually gonna put the juice in there too I don't yeah I think that'll be fine because there's not a whole lot of juice in these cans as compared to a can of like petite diced tomatoes and then I'm going to use these lentils that I'm going to drain thoroughly and rinse thoroughly because they do have salt on them. Or on the, they're low sodium. I mean, there's not a ton of salt in here, but it's still, it's still too much. So then um, put in the spices, the ground coriander and the ground cumin. I'm only going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of each because I don't, I don't really care for cumin and coriander is kind of a strong spice to me. So I'm just going to put in a teeny tiny little bit of both of those. Um, you could put salt pepper in if you want to. Um, I will try the broth probably just to make sure that it's that's okay. And then I'm gonna get this ready to go. So um, I am taking with me a cashew kefir. Let me go grab that out of the fridge in the garage and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the cultured cashew beverage that I bought. I think it's very much like a kefir type concept. They pasteurize it, but then they add the cultures afterwards. So that cultures are still living. Um, this is organic and non-dairy. Um, there's no uh, added sugars to this. And it's not nearly as bad for you as I would think it would be based on the fact that it's got cashews in it, but it's got all sorts of little cultures in there. Um, anyway, I'm going to take eight ounces of this. I'm going to measure it and take eight ounces of this with me um, and have that as a drink like in between meals tonight. 
So that's going to be my, it's only good until nine five. So I need to get drinking that. Um, not got, yeah, I need, I need to drink that. <laughs> I bought another one that's a mango flavored one. So, um, but there's not a ton of liquid in here. It's only 28 ounces. So if you're taking eight ounces at a time, it's less than four times of servings, four servings. So anyways, so I'm gonna take that as my um, probiotic, prebiotic type concept for uh, fermentation. And I'm going to also take two slices of toast, one for each uh, time I eat soup tonight. Cause like I told you, my bread has like six grams of fiber in each uh, slice. Yeah. Oh, and I found a, a podcast or, or a YouTube video with Erica and Justin Sonnenberg. So I'm going to listen to that tonight so that I know I'll get a little bit better handle on this whole sugar thing. Whether or not it's just the fake sugars that are really bad for your stomach and your GI health or whether regular sugars are bad too, like sugar, sugar. Um, because some of the recipes, like I said, they use maple syrup. So I don't know that regular sugar is really that big of a deal, but I need to get that figured out before I make food for too many more days. All right, gotta go cook. Um, you guys will have seen my thumbnail. I'll let you know in the morning whether my soup was fantastic or whether it was just okay. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Veggies and lentils and tomatoes. Ta-da! <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys again soon. All right guys, so I am home from work. Um, we can talk about this cashew kefir thing because yuck, oh my gosh. So basically if you like yogurt and you like probably Greek yogurt, so like more tart yogurt type flavor, you would probably like this cashew kefir, but I am not a yogurt fan and I'm definitely not a tart yogurt fan and thought it was absolutely disgusting. I managed to get down uh, eight ounces of the mango cashew kefir um, and yeah, it was, oh, oh God, it was so gross. Anyway, Connor thought it was great and is more than willing to drink it for me. So two thumbs up from Connor, two enthusiastic thumbs down from mom. Ugh. Anyways, so I'm home. Anthony and I are going to do the weightlifting exercise today. So I don't really need to bring that back up because it's exactly the same as it was the first day. Um, and my food last night was very good. I enjoyed the soup. Um, I think that I had, let's see. I think I had 46 grams of fiber total. I'm not sure if there's any, I don't, there's probably no fiber in the cashew kefir. I would imagine there's not. Anyways, if there is, I didn't count that. But, um, so yeah, not quite 50 again. <laughs> I'm trying. It's not being very successful. It, it's hard when you eat two meals a day rather than three because you have to get that much fiber in, in two meals. However, that soup was really good and I really liked those vegetables already being all chopped up and ready to go and they were still like the jicama was still crunchy which was really nice actually in the soup um and the carrots were um just they weren't soft which was nice in the soup as well um anyways it was good so I'm going to go exercise with my husband when he gets down here and I will see you again tonight for another day